Anyway, yeah, we got a new Batmobile, so that's cool. Next up, uh, this one, obviously I've taught before I play hockey. Uh, I'm a hockey guy. Well, I'm from Canada, so. Now we have, we have tech, hockey tech. This is really interesting stuff and controversial stuff because now the two worlds collide, tech and hockey. Okay. Hockey is the I think the most high tech sport in the sense that you got you got steel blades strapped to your feet. You're in a refrigerated building and uh -huh. you have carbon fiber equipment, uh -huh. sticks and maybe not. I don't know. It's got to be up there. It's got to be up there. Yeah, I would say so. It's got to be NFL. up there. And now they're going to make it even more high tech. Unlike some other sports that are a little bit restrictive about change. Apparently for the NHL playoffs, they have a brand new puck with a bunch of electronic sensors in it. And we don't really know yet how those sensors will be used, but I already have some ideas of interesting ways that these could be utilized. In the past, they experimented with the puck making streaks across the ice mm. so people could follow the play and see like a slap shot. You see the, the bolt behind it. Some hockey fans flipped out when that happened. The traditionalists, they said... What are you putting a streak? What do you think? I can't see the puck. I've been watching hockey 26 years. Was that you? No, I, I don't care that much. I <laughs> put a streak, whatever. I don't care that much. It was a, it was a little much than what I've seen up until this point, but I'm right. also a tech fan, so I like this kind of stuff right. to a degree. So they've, they've piled sensitive electronic equipment into this puck. And we don't know how they're going to use it. But one way, I think, if you don't want to do the streaks, Will... When they're evaluating if the puck went in or didn't go in. If you have a... Isn't there a way where there's yeah. a sensor, if it crosses the line, it's a goal. If it doesn't cross the line, it's not a goal. It's just binary. Yeah. You know? No video reviews and frame by frame and the puck is partially over. And it, I don't know. Maybe they'll use it that way. Or maybe we're just going to see flashy streaks all over the, the arena. That's possible too. Now, they showed off some crazy high-tech stuff during the All-Star game where they had every guy pinned so you could see the names. They were tracking the speed of each end. You could see right. up, up top how fast each player was skating. So they are working on some cool stuff. It'll be interesting to see. But I also agree with some people that do you really want to risk it with a new piece of equipment in the playoffs when people worked an entire year, their entire lives to get to this point, and now you have this tech injected puck that could malfunction and Crosby already said I don't know it feels a bit different the weight's a bit different Crosby being the star player star player in the NHL for those that don't follow he noticed the edges of the puck felt different mm. anyway nonetheless mm. the NHL doesn't care they say we're going for it in the playoffs well, they say we're a high tech league they uh, say we're, we're going to be talked about on Lou later so we're going to put it in <laughs> and apparently it costs $100 for each puck to be produced which is a little bit more than the typical rubber hockey puck just so you know willie i'm keeping you in the loop are there here. uh batteries in there or is it like rfid some sort of it's a good question i don't think you gotta charge the puck yeah i don't know i doubt i think it would have to be sealed wouldn't it yeah yeah i would i wouldn't mm, a battery in a lifespan and then the puck is you, the puck is retired after a game i don't know maybe it's it's uh, hard to know exactly what they're going to do with it, but we're going to see as the season progresses, as we get into the playoffs here, we'll see what they try to do with it. 